gentlemen, how y'all doing? It's the Ignite Thinker Podcast, Sam Sports Collaboration. We here with y'all with the top 10 NFL teams going into the 2023 season. At number 10, I'm picking the Detroit Lions. All festively, I think they're going to be top five in the league. Defensively, they still got a lot of things they got to work on. They got to get those things together, but I think they have enough to win the division. It's going to be close between them and another team. I'm not going to discuss that yet, but all I'm going to let y'all know is Detroit Lions is coming. I've been on the train since last year. I jumped off the train during the season. I got back. I was at the Greasy Spoon, and I got back on the train. Detroit Lions is coming, baby. Let's go. All right, so we got number 10, all right? I'm going to pick the Jets at 10. The Jets made a lot of moves in the offseason, but they don't have a quarterback yet. They don't have the quarterback established. That's why I got them at 10. But the Jets should be a pretty decent team this year. At 9, all right? No other your faithful, my faithful, the Baltimore Ravens. All right, we made a, um, I'm not going to say a lot of moves, offensive moves. We made some offensive moves. We did at least Ben Powers. Um, defense, too, got a, a key pieces that's missing. But, once Lamar resign, I'm confident he'll resign. We'll be straight. So at nine, we got the Ravens. Y'all knew damn well I wasn't going to hit on top ten team and not put the Ravens on here. The fuck wrong with them. I'm going with number nine, the Jets. Why are they? Why they at nine? I don't know what this Aaron Rodgers shit is doing. I really don't know. Aaron Rodgers came out and March 15th and said that he was ready to be a Jet. It is April 15th, tax day. This motherfucker still ain't a Jet. I don't know what's going on. Y'all let me know what's going on. But besides that, they got a very young team. They still got to sign Quentin Williams because he wants $25 million a year. That's what they say. I don't know the exact quote. I don't know Quentin like that. But I believe in Joe Douglas as the GM. He'll get it done. Why? Because he's from Philadelphia, baby. That's why. The Jacksonville Jaguars, a.k.a. Duval. That's right. Duval's in the house, baby. Listen, very powerful team. I'm waiting to see this next step that Trevor takes this year. Defensively, they were playing very good. Doug Peterson's their coach. Listen, I, I just want to see how it comes together. Calvin Ridley's coming off suspension. I want to see how all of this comes together. This is something that is must-see TV with these Duval Jaguars. So let's get it together, Duval. Let's get it. Let's get this one. Hey, hey. <clears throat> I'm going to go on a limb, a complete reach out there. I'm going to pick the Giants. I'm going to pick the Giants at eight. Giants, um, uh, the only issue I have with the Giants, Saquon. Is he going to play on that tag? Because he's going to be paid. Is he going to play on that tag? That's the only thing holding this team back. And then they finally got a few weapons for Daniel. Um, the defense has been playing lights out. I think, I think they should be good this year. Seven. All right, seven. Miami. All right, we're going to Miami. Holler at these goddamn Dolphins, man. The Dolphins, 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 Dolphins. Dolphins been making fucking moves after move after move quietly. But to a health is their biggest question, okay? To a stay up, everything good. To a don't stay up, everything ain't good. Coming in at number seven, the L.A. Chargers. Yeah, I said it. The L.A. Chargers. Now, here's the team with star talent at every level. Some levels, they got two star talents, but they can't seem to put it together to become a championship team. I don't know what's going on, but talent-wise, best team in the league. That's just my opinion. Talent-wise, best team in the league, but they can't seem to put it together to get the wins, to get to the championship, to even win their division. So they need to make that leap. All right, so... um Number six, all right, we're going to ATL, all right, the Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons, I don't know what type of shit they got going on behind the scenes, but they have been getting some powerful players at low cost. I don't know if they know something we don't. I don't know if they just throwing their hand in and saying, hey, if it worked, we good. If it don't, we ain't lose that much. But number six, Atlanta Falcons. Number six. The Miami Dolphins, a team that is another team that is loaded, and I mean loaded, okay, with talent, but they have to get it done. One of the biggest issues is their health at QB. You don't know if Tua's going to play. 
one was the concussions. Mescal is good back up. And then they went and got Mike White. So they got what they need to keep the ball rolling. But we need to see, are they going to get to that level? Are they going to win that division? Let's go. Let's see what they're going to do. Dolphin up. All right. So we're in the top five. Um, my guy, Dennis. We're going with the Eagles, baby. Eagles. E-A-G-L-E. Fuck them Eagles. Uh, no, but I got them at five. Um, they did lose uh, of small pieces, but I still think the Eagles will be one of the top teams um, this year. Um, Jalen Hurts should be paid um, two legit wide receivers and just run it up. What's up, everybody? We back again. 2023 NFL Top 10 Teams. Sam Sports, Ignite Thinker Podcast, Collaboration. The Dallas Cowboys, number five. They lost Ezekiel Elliott. They gained Brandon Cooks. They're looking to make a splash in this draft. We're going to see what the Cowboys are going to do. Right now, they're the third best team in the NFC. Could be second. We will see. But catch up with y'all on that. Number four, Buffalo Bills. You know what I mean? Let's get it together, baby. It's got to be y'all year. Y'all been together all this time. It's been a whole lot of mess. Y'all done lost some pieces, okay? Y'all looking to gain some pieces through this draft. But this is the year y'all got to get things rolling. Y'all the number four team with my power rankings, Buffalo Bills. Right ahead of the Eagles, all right, at number four, all right, we got the Kansas City Chiefs. I think Kansas City is going to drop. And we say this all the time, and they never drop. But I think this year, I think it's the year that they just start trickling down, okay? Um, Kansas City at four. As long as you got Patrick Mahomes, you are good. But eventually, Patrick Mahomes will not be enough by himself. When is that going to be? Should be this year. Therefore, number three team in the 2023 NFL top 10 teams are power rankings, okay? I'm going to think of podcast, Sam Sports. The San Francisco 49ers. Yes, San Fran is the number three team. They are. A quarterback away from getting past the hump of the NFC Championship game. They have been there two years in a row. They are dominant on every position. Superstar at every position, but the QB. QB is still a little iffy, but they got two QBs that's capable of getting the job done. Let's see what happens here, all right? All right. Three. We them boys, all right? Cowboys, number three, okay? Um... The Cowboys getting rid of Zeke, running pilot. Um, they need another receiver out there. They need one more receiver. Um, and that got to play big boy football all year long, not four or five games all year long. But at three, I got the Cowboys. Number two, Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals uh, made some work on that offensive line. Um, they lost their safety, but they still got that offensive firepower. You know, um, defense, uh, defense win championship, offense sells tickets, right? They going to put numbers up. That offense still going to put numbers up. This is, this is hard. This is hard. This is hard. Power rankings. And I got a tie, okay? This is the Ignite Thinker Podcast, Sam Sports Collaboration. I got a tie. I got, I got the Cincinnati Bengals at number two. And the Philadelphia Eagles are number two. That's my tie. I, listen, I know y'all trying to say, you can't have no ties to power rankings. Tell me what I can do with my power rankings. This is my motherfucking power rankings. They will do what I want. These are two dominant teams here, man. They, they're led by two powerful quarterbacks, two young, powerful quarterbacks. So Cincinnati Bengals and Philadelphia Eagles are tied number two. Number one team in the NFL, Kansas City Chiefs. Ain't nothing you can say about it, man. Patrick motherfucking Mahomes, all right? This has been a good power rankings that we have done. They're going to think of podcast, Sam Sports Collaboration, 2023 NFL Power Rankers. This has been real good. But the Kansas City Chiefs, they are who they say they are. They superstars. All right. Let's get it together, y'all. NFL season. Now, we're at number one. Uno, right? Number one. The number one team, 2023, 2024 season. It's by far. By far, nobody is going to agree with me, 
but I've been saying this and I've been saying it and I've been saying it over and over. Let Ross cook. The Denver Broncos will be the best team.